The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, fourth chapter, text number eleven, given by His Divine Grace, A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March thirty first, nineteen seventy four, in Bombay, India. Translation: All of them, as they surrender unto me, I reward accordingly. Everyone follows my path in all respects, O son of Krishna. Jeeva Thamang Prabhupada Tam Sufi Bhajam Momo Bhatmanu Bhattanti Manushya Patha Sarosa Everyone is seeking to find out Krishna uh, directly or indirectly. Krishna means we are all attractive, all attractive. Bhagavan means we are all attractive, supreme personality of all. <coughs> so, uh, indirectly or directly, everybody is seeking Krishna, the all attractive. Anandamaya Vyasa, the supreme bliss. Uh, we can give an example. Just like we take care of our body, or we want to keep body very fit, healthy, and beautiful, very nicely uh, kept. Why? Why you take care of our body? Because I, the spirit soul, part and parcel of Krishna, I am living in this body. Therefore I take care of my body. Nobody takes care of the dead body. This is a fact. Either I take care of my body or my family's body, my wife's body, my children's body. Why? Because the part and parcel of Krishna is there. The soul is there. And as soon as the soul is gone, the part and parcel of God is from the body, the body has no value. Throw it away. The same body. This is practical. Therefore, I love my body because the part and parcel of Krishna is there. Or you love your body, I love your body. Only for the reason, Jivarang Sarva Bhutana, the part and parcel of Krishna is there. <coughs> then, why the part and parcel of Krishna is taken care of? The because it is part and parcel of Krishna. Therefore, ultimately, my love goes to Krishna, all attracted. <coughs> so, everyone is seeking for happiness, uh, but they are misled. Although they are trying to approach Krishna, they are misled. Uh, one can directly can come to Krishna, but they do not want. The indirect. So, indirectly and directly, everyone is seeking Krishna. Mamo Vartvanu Vartvanti. Manusya Partha Sarvas. In the Srimad Bhagavatam it is stated that Vadanti Tat Tattavidas Tatyam Jadgyanam Advayam Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavaniti Sadhgati. The absolute truth, Tattva. That is Tattva. Vadanti tap tapta bid. Who can speak of tapta? Unless one he is completely conversant with the tapta. Tapta means truth. So Vadanti tap tapta bida. Those who are conversant with the absolute truth, they say. What do they say? 
वदंति तत्तत्विदस्तज्ञानम अद्वयम वी एब्सोल्यूट नॉलेज विदाउट एनी ड्यूअलिटी अद्वयम व्हाट इज दैट द ब्रह्म परमात्मा एंड भगवान द एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ इज डिस्क्राइब इन डिफरेंट वेज by different people according to angle of vision but the object is the same there may be different types of religious system but the object is krishna somehow it is popularly expressed and somehow somehow it is common Uh, that is Brahma, Brahma reality, impersonal realization, Brahma realization. For the Jainis, those who are seeking at the absolute truth by speculative knowledge, they want to make these varieties of material world as uh, void. The Buddha philosophy, Sunnavan. Uh, because they are disgusted with this material varieties, therefore they want something opposite. That opposite is voidism, sunnavat. Uh, the sunnavat are a little more further. That is brahmavat, <laughs> without any varieties, simply the light, brahma jyoti. This is also another realization. Sunnavad to make this material world null and void, they come to the impersonal Brahma effulgence. This is Brahma realization, and then for the yogis, the localized aspect, Paramatma, Ishara Sarvabhuta Nandidhi Se Ujjana Tishta. By meditation, this is Paramatma realization. And then ultimately, Bhagwan, the supreme personality of God. Just like we, general people in general, we can see the sun sign, but uh, everyone knows, at least scientists know that the sun sign is coming from the sun glow. If you have got power to go to the sun glow. You can see what actually the sun globe is, and if you go still further, penetrate into the sun globe, then you will see there is sun god. Sun god. His name is also described in the Bhagavad Gita. Vivashan. In in the beginning of this chapter, fourth chapter, Krishna said, "Imam Vivashati Yogam Krutvaan Ahamvayo." So within the sun globe, there is the person, the predominating deity, whose name is Vivasa. So it requires a little qualification. And how to go to the sun planet? Sun planet is a fact. It is not fictitious. We are every day seeing, but we have no such power to go to the sun planet. Neither you have got the power to enter into the sun planet. That is inability. Not that it is illusion. Krishna is illusion, or Krishna Loka is illusion. No, it is not illusion. It is fact. Goloka naam ni nijadham ni tale chatosha. In the Vedic literature, we find description of the planet of Goloka Vrindavan. The abode of Krishna. It is stated, "Guloko nami nijadhamni, nijadhamni." Nijadhamni means the personal abode. Krishna is person. God is person. Just like governor, the governor has, is a person, and he has got his personal place, the government house. Similarly, the supreme Lord. ब्रह्म इति परमात्मा इति भगवान इति ही इज पर्सन 
and he has not the award that is stated in the Brahma Sangita. Goloka Nami, Nijadhami, Talecha Tasha, Devi Mahesha Haridhama Su, Tesu Tesu, Tete Prabhava Nichaya, Vihitasha Jena, Govinda Madhi Purisam Tamahangaja. Goloka Nami, the planet, uh, we are given our put picture of Goloka Vrindavan as far as possible taking description from the Shastra. We have given it. Uh, the Goloka Vrindavan is described in the Brahma Sangita. Chintamani prakara sadmasu kalpa vrikha lakha vritesu suravi ravi pālayantam lakshmi sahasya sata samrama sevumānam govinda vādi purisam tavāṁ vajā. Govinda has got flesh. Goloka Nāṁ. The place name is Goloka. Vrindam, Goloka Nami, Nijadham, that is his personal abode. Uh, although every dhāma, every planet, everywhere, all over the universe, all over the creation, that is Krishna's dham, God's place, Bhoktāraṁ jagdatam sāṁ sarvaloka mahesaraṁ, he is the proprietor of everything, ishāvāsa idam sarvam, Everything that is the property of Krishna or the Supreme Law. This is Krishna consciousness. Uh, this is Krishna consciousness. One has to learn this that everything belongs to Krishna. Isha Vasa Nidan Sarva. This is baby steps. We have created trouble because we have forgotten the real proprietor. Uh, we are trying to become proprietor individually and collectively. This is India, this is our India, this is America, uh, it is our America, it is Germany, our, nothing our, everything Krishna. This is Krishna consciousness. Uh, everything belongs to Krishna and everyone has got the right because everyone is the son of Krishna. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Sarvajoni Shukonteya Sambhavanti Murtayaja Tesam Mahajani Brahma Hamabija Padapita As the sons have got right to enjoy the property of the father, similarly, we, all living entities, not only human beings, but trees, plants, animals, everyone, all living entities, Sarvajoni Shukonteya. They are all sons of God or Krishna, and everyone has the right to live at the cost of Krishna. Madhidha Kasachin Dhanam, Tena Tartena Bhandita. Whatever is allotted for you, uh, that is everything is uh, prescribed, everything is there. Uh, but they, why this arrangement is made, they do not know. The arrangement is made that mamo vatvanu vattanti manushya part, of course, particularly the name of manushya has been, because in the human life God consciousness can be developed, not in the animal life. Therefore, here yeah, particularly it is mentioned, mamo vatvanu vattanti manushya part, sarvas. Everyone is trying to approach me. But according to different angle of vision, according to capacity. Uh, the capacity is somebody is trying to go up to the Brahma effulgence. Somebody is trying to uh, understand the Supreme Paramatma within the everyone's heart. And somebody is trying to understand and go directly to the Supreme Personality of God. The Vaishnavism is directly, directly, Krishna says, sarva dharmaan paritrajyamāme kāṁ saranam. If you go directly, just like if you reach the sun planet or the, <coughs> uh, the predominating deity of, namely the sun god, Vibhasar, then naturally you know what is sun sign and what is sun glow. Similarly, if you directly go 
If you directly can understand what is Krishna, then you understand what is impersonal Brahma and what is localized aspect Paramatma. <coughs> it is Brahma Naham Pratishtha. Krishna said, what is this Brahma? That, that the sun sign is situated on the sun glow. Sun sign, although it is very big, it is covering the whole universe, but it is coming from the sun glow. So similarly, the Brahma effulgence may be very, very great, but it is coming as the bodily effulgence of Krishna that we get information from Brahma Sangita. Jasya praha prabhavato jagadarna kochi kotishu asesa vasudhadi vibhuti bhinnam tad brahma niskalam ananta asesa bhutam govindam adipurisam tamam vya. So, actually either you try to realize impersonal brahma or by yogic process the localized paramatma or directly want to realize the Supreme Personality of Godhead, they are all the same, all the same. But this differentiation is due to my angle of vision. Uh, therefore Krishna said, Jejathamaṁ prabhaddhante taṁ satriva bhajāṁ. If you want to realize only the Brahma effulgence, all right, you can do that. Or if you want to realize Paramatma by yogic principle, by meditation, all right, Krishna says it is, it is also all right. Uh, and if you want to realize the Supreme Personality of Godhead in directly contact with Him, directly playing with Him as cowherd's boy, directly dancing with Him like the gopi, directly treating Him as your son, like Jasana Matra, you can do us. Krishna is open to everyone, and you can approach Krishna in any capacity, as Brahma, Paramatma, or uh, uh, Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality of God. But it is up to you to realize which one is realizable for you. That is up to you. But Krishna is prepared to accept you. In any way you like. Uh, so Brahma, Paramatma and Bhagavad, they are the same one truth, but uh, it is difference of realization. Just like you uh, see one big mountain from a distant place, you see just like something hazy cloud. If you go still farther, you will find something greenish. But if you go actually to the mountain, you will find so many varieties. So many varieties. Uh, there are houses, there are trees, there are men, there are animals. Similarly, uh, to the spiritual world, first of all, this material world becomes, just uh, like Lord Buddha, he did not say anything further than making this material world as boy, sunnama. That is a fact. If you are, the, the previous verse, it has been stated, vitarāva uh, bhaya-krodha. If you are attached to these material varieties, then you cannot enter into the spiritual varieties or in the spiritual world. Krishna is so kind. If you have got a pinch of desire, to enjoy this material world, then you will have to remain here as either as Lord Brahma or as a small ant, according to your karma. But when you completely become free from material attachment, then the spiritual world is. So when the Buddha philosophy says, Sunnava, Nirvan, Nirvan, it means the same thing, vitarāda. You have to become detached. You have to make this material enjoyment zero. The bhakti also says, bhakti formula, onna vilāsita sunnam. You have to make your heart clean of all material desire. 
then spiritual life will begin. Desam antakatam papam jananan punna karmana te dhanda maha nimmukta bhajanti maang dirabhuta. This is the process. So, artificially, the Buddha philosophy, a Sankara philosophy, the artificially, if you want to make it nirvana, zero, that is not possible. Abhaktya sakthati, take place of Adhikatara stesha, abhaktya sakthati to sound. Abhakta means zero, impersonal. If you become attached to simply make it zero or impersonal, that is not possible. Because we are accustomed, we are as living being, we want varieties. Variety is the mother of enjoyment. We cannot remain in the zero position. We have got experience. Just like when you fly on the plane, after some hours, four, five hours, you become disgusted. You want to come down. Everyone has got this experience. Because the sky is zero. We cannot remain there. More than four or five years or six years. We must come down. In the sea also, we have got all this experience. Uh, if we remain on the ocean for three, four days, because it runs on. When I first went to America, I went by sea. So, for thirty-five days. So, after four or five days, it was disgusting. Uh, as soon as we saw one island, Ah, then he becomes me. You see? So this Sunrava philosophy will not give you happiness. Ah. After Sunna, after making this Sunna, ah, suppose you are passing through the sky, Sunna, if you get another, if you go to the moon planet or other planet, then you become happy. Ah. Then you have become happy. But if you don't get any planet, ah, then you have to come back again on this planet. Similarly, the Śrīnava philosophy will not make you happy unless you. Therefore, in the Śrīmad-Bhāgavatam it is stated, jenne ravinnākha vimokta mārina tai astabhāvād avishuddha buddha ārujya kṛcchena paraṁ padaṁ tata patanti adha anā dhita jusmataṁ bhaya. The meaning is that, my Lord, Aravindāt, Krishna is addressed uh, because his eyes are just like the petals of lotus flower. Uh, he is called Aravind, on Aravindāt. Uh, <coughs> Varahāvatamsa, Aravindāt. So, my dear Aravindākṣa, lotus-eyed Krishna, Jinnya uh, Aravindākṣa, the persons who are thinking that have, they have become liberated, now they have become Narayan. Oh, jinnero vindakha vimukta mani. They are thinking like that. Mani means falsely thinking. Jinnero vindakha vimukta mani na tai asubhava. They have no information of your lotus feet or you. They do not accept your personality. Tai asubhava avishuddha buddhaya. Their intelligence is not clear. Abhishuddha. It is still impure because they could not understand. The full knowledge is Brahmeti Bhagavaniti, Bhumeti Paramatmeti Bhagavaniti. The three things one must know. That is full knowledge. But if you understand partially, either Brahma or Paramatma, but if you understand Bhagavan, just mean vijnati, sarvametam vijnatam bhavanti. This is Vedic vijnati. If you understand Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, then you understand Brahma and Paramatma. But if you simply understand Brahma or Paramatma, you do not understand Krishna. Therefore it is said, Abhishuddha Buddhaya, intelligence is not yet pure. Jadnir Vindaka Vimukta Manina. Tayyasta Bhavad Abhishuddha Buddhaya. Arujya Krishna Param Padam Tata. They, after undergoing severe penances and austerities, they approach the Brahma violence. Paranga, Padanti Adha, again falls down. The same example. He may go very high, just like nowadays the attempt is being made. 
They are going to the moon planet or Venus planet. We do not know whether they are going or not, but we hear from the advertisement. So, because they do not get any shelter, they come back. Arujya kithe na parang patang tata patang ti abha anadita jismatam raya because they do not get any shelter. The shelter of lotus feet of Krishna from this impersonal conception of philosophy, they again come to this material world. Therefore you will find there are so many big, big samis. First of all, they give us this word, Brahma Sattva Jagan Mitha. This world is Mitha. Ah, ah, let us take to Brahma. Let us become Brahma. But after keeping in some days in so-called Brahma, they, they again come back to open hospitality school. Because there they could not get anything. Ah, therefore, something must be done, profession. So open hospital and they find that's all. So, unless you get shelter on the lotus feet of Krishna, you will be attracted by these material activities. But when you are attracted by the lotus feet of Krishna, then vitarāga bhayo sokha. That is, vitarāga bhayo krodha manmaya māmupāsita. Māmupāsita. When you take shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna, then you become vitarāga bhayo krodha. Otherwise, you will be attacked by, uh, attracted by this material world. So, therefore, artificial sunnavad philosophy, it may be for the time being necessary. Uh, sunnavad, that's like uh, Lord uh, Buddha preached his philosophy, sunnavad philosophy, nibban philosophy, because it was needed at that time. It is not permanent philosophy. Any philosophy except Krishna philosophy, nothing is permanent, they are temporary. They have got temporary use. Oh. The real use is Krishna philosophy. Oh. Real use is Krishna philosophy. Sarva dharma and paritajya mahamin. So, when there was, if people may question, the Lord Buddha is accepted as the incarnation of uh, Lord Krishna. Kesa vadhita buddha sarira jaya jagadisa. Then why he Priest, hmm, atheistic philosophy. He priest, there is no God. Uh, Sunnava. But there was necessary at that time. Why? That is explained by Jayade Goswami. Ninnasi Jagga Vidhe Raha Suti Jatam Sadaya Ridaya Dari Sita Vasu Bhatam Kesavadhita Buddha Sariya Jaya Jagadisa. At that time, People were killing animals like anything in the name of yoga. In the Vedas, there are uh, prescriptions that in the yoga, a uh, posu can be, an animal can be slaughtered. Uh, in some yoga, not always, tamasic yoga. Anyway, basic injunction is there. So, when Lord Buddha started this non violence, ahimsa parama dharma, the Vedic scholar approached him that how you can prescribe this ahimsa. There is already sanctioned in the Vedas, Pasava Bodhaya Sushta. How you can stop it? So the Lord Buddha said, I don't care for your Veda. Therefore he is considered as atheist. Anyone who doesn't care for Vedas, they are technically called as atheist. Vedana maniya buddha hoila naspi. Naspi means at least. Anyway, when Sankaracharya came, Sankaracharya wanted, because by the propagation of Lord Buddha, whole India became Buddhist. Sankaracharya wanted to establish Vedas again. So, they are temporary necessities for certain reasons. Because people were addicted so much in violence, in killing the animals. Therefore, Buddha philosophy was needed. Again, this Buddha philosophy was given out. The Sankar, impersonal philosophy was established. But again, the Acharyas, Ramanacharya, Madhyacharya, and other Vaishnava Acharya, at last, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, established that Brahma Sattva means 
ब्रह्मे थी परमात्मे थी भगवान ही थी शब्द थी बोध थी एक्शन थ्रो तो दीज आर दी फिलोसॉफिकल डेवलपमेंट सो कृष्ण इज समराइजिंग दिस फिलोसॉफिकल डेवलपमेंट शेयर इन दिस वन लाइन दैट मनोवर्तमान वर्तन थे मनुष्यापात सब आई दर यू फॉलो बुद्ध फिलोसॉफी और शंकर फिलोसॉफी और वैष्णव फिलोसॉफी The ultimate goal is Krishna. Thank you very much.